Well, to throw more light on some of the issues raised in that UNDP report, I'm now being joined on the News at 10 by the UNDP's National Economist here in Nigeria, Dr. Victor Obo. Thank you so much for joining us on the News at 10. Now, the report raises many questions, um, uh, showing particularly a disconnect between the rising economic growth across Africa and then you can see ish figures of um, malnutrition and hunger growing by the day. Um, what would you say is responsible for that disconnect that your organization has found out? Thank you very much. Um, there is a, an apparent disconnect, as you have mentioned, between the recent progress in economic growth in the sub-Saharan Africa and poverty reduction. There are key issues that are responsible for this paradox. First and foremost is uh, the problem of misguided policies. Uh, policies are not targeted at you know, reducing uh, poverty. Uh, we have uh, growth rates that are recorded, but there is no linkage between growth and development. And for that reason, the Human Development Index for Southern Africa has been very, very low. The other issue has to do with weak institutions. Institutions that are put in place are unable to deliver services that can affect the poor positively. We also have problem with uh, malfunctional markets, lack of market uh, infrastructure that will be able to deliver, you know, poor growth for the, the, the majority of the poor that are living in rural areas. So uh, a myriad of such factors are responsible for the disconnect we have recorded. One of the other key concerns um, for me that stood out was the amount of money also being invested in certain co countries across um, West Africa in terms of what's being invested in agriculture. I mean, our own agriculture minister had said that less than 3% of the budget is spent on agriculture. Um, what would you make of the kind of investment that you see? Now, now that, 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 is, that is a key issue. The, the, the lack of political will is, 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 is glaring in sub-Saharan Africa. You've made a, a, a very important point that the, 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 the budgetary allocation to agriculture remains very, very low. I, I, I give you an instance. As the Honorable Minister of Agriculture pointed out today during the presentation, taking Nigeria as a case study, you know, the, the, the total allocation you know, to agriculture in Nigeria stands below 3% which is a far cry from even the 10% that has been recommended in CADEP by in, in Maputo, the Maputo de Declaration. And so this has reduced uh, funds that to be made available for research and development and for provision of uh, infrastructure and the inputs, you know, as well as uh, mechanization. Well, countries so like that has made agriculture to, 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 to remain at a primitive level in sub-Saharan Africa. Well, I know the report is basically about West Africa and all, but zoning in on to us here in Nigeria, you, the report mentioned countries like Malawi, Ethiopia, and Rwanda being a bit more successful with this food security index. What is it they're doing that Nigeria isn't doing right at the moment? Well, uh, we have a long history of misguided policies in Nigerian agriculture. Uh, but the good news is that Nigeria has now packaged an agenda which the Honorable Minister is championing, which we call the Agricultural Transformation Agenda. It, 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 it is now addressing comprehensively and holistically all the disconnect, you know, along the agricultural value chain. So the, the main problem that has been responsible for the slow growth of agriculture in Nigeria as, as a country has to do with uh, the kind of policies that are not consistent, misguided policies, policies that has not addressed agriculture holistically. But the value chain approach which the present administration has embarked upon has the potential to transform agriculture in a holistic manner because it is addressing all the bottlenecks right from the production level 
to the processing level and to the marketing level as well as putting the food on the table. By the time all the bottlenecks are removed, the entire value chain will be revamped and agriculture will now begin to grow and address the issue of poverty and provide jobs for the unemployed. At that point, we're going to have to leave it. I'm going to thank you so much for joining us on the News at 10. And I've been speaking with the UNDP's National Economist in Nigeria. That's Dr. Victor Obo. And we've been looking at some of the issues that were raised in the UNDP report.